Welcome to the new series of videos. In this series, I want to do something different. I'm going to look into Relativity's new file format that's designed to work with short messages, meaning text messages, uh, any kind of, or I guess, text messages, communications. Relativity showed this file format at Relativity Fest 2018. That's right. And they showed how you can have text messages grouped into a conversation and displayed within Relativity. It looked very nice. They also had an email uh, mixed together with short messages. So we'll see what that's about. What we want to do here is start by looking at what the file format is, how it works, and maybe build like um, a proof of concept application that generates that type of file and then load it to Relativity and basically see where it goes from here. Now, as far as my exact plans for this file format type and where exactly I'm doing, um, I don't have exact plans. This is kind of what my, how my projects start. So you're getting basically a glimpse as to how I approach uh, everything is I will find some kind of technology that interests me. I will sort of poke at it, see what it does, how it works, experiment with it, and then see if I can turn it into something useful. If, um, if it's like simple and I can, you know, it's like mm, useful, kind of cool, I'll put it up on my website, make it like a free app, um, maybe make it, uh, you know, like a hundred bucks, just something like that, something cheap. And if this turns into something like revolutionary, like, wow, this is so cool. Well, maybe I'll charge a little bit more for it. Uh, but regardless, whatever I charge on my website, everything is like cheap in a lit support world. Anyway. Let's take a look at my screen. Uh, what I got here is a folder on my desktop. And this uh, and these are the, the specs for relativity short message format, RSMF. Um, they are gonna be released officially soon. They're probably gonna be released by the time you see this video. I'm a relativity developer, relativity developing partner. So I got access to this a little bit earlier, like a preview kind of deal. So that's what we're going to be looking at. It's the first version. Um, what we have here is the specs and addendum. And I already uh, briefly scanned through these just to see what they are and how they work. And what I'll do is um, I'm going to open this and we'll talk about this load file format. Okay, not a load file format, the file type. All right, so here's the PDF. Let's zoom in a little bit. So what this says, short message format, um, sh relativity short message file. That's what it stands for. This is version 1.0. And this talks about like it needs to have a um, certain extension. We need to have a certain variable in the header, which is a version. Um, nothing terribly important. And so when we scroll down, we see what it looks like. This is basically an EML file. So we have the header for the EML. And then it has a body. And then the actual text message or the conversation of the text messages is going to be contained in the zip file RSMF. Um, so kind of an interesting idea. Not sure um, how I feel about it, but let's keep going. Um, and what we're going to have in the zip file is this one file. All right, this is a JSON file. JSON is kind of like XML, except XML was um, sort of like a Microsoft format, Microsoft loved using it. And JSON is a, I guess, call it open source standard of that. Problem with XML files, they're really bulky and JSON eliminates that. It makes them much readable, um, much more human readable, right? So that's what we got going on here. We have um, something called the JSON file. And this JSON file will contain all the information about a group of chats or messages. So let's see what they are. So we have three sections here. We have participants, um, which is going to be an, uh, in the description on the bottom here. It's an array of, so it's going to be a list of participants, conversations, and events. So based on what I read here, uh, we mostly need to worry about events. The events are the actual text messages. Not sure why they're called events. I'm guessing they're talking about like somebody entering a chat group. That's an event. Somebody posting 
into a chat group. That's an event. Exit in chat group is also an event. That's why they're called events. Uh, conversations is a way to group things together, but I'm not quite sure how that would work. I figured you want to have uh, one file per conversation. Uh, maybe not, I don't know. And participants, well, that's just gonna be a list of all the people who contributed to these conversations and events, right? So let's scroll down to our participants and this is what the participants list looks like. There is an ID, name, you can have a person's picture and any kind of custom metadata. Um, seems pretty straightforward. Um, let's look at conversations. We have the same deal. We have a conversation ID, display name, which is what we can name our conversation anything we want, uh, platform, this will define how messages look. It's what I believe this is gonna do. So if you say SMS, they'll look like text messages. If you specify like um, Slack or something else, let's see where that is, um, type right here, direct or channel. Okay, so maybe that's, yeah. So it's just gonna define how they look. And then custom, of course, we have additional metadata we can put here which is kind of cool because we have the same thing for, for participants, right? We can add as much custom metadata as we want. How it's gonna be displayed, I'm still not sure, but seems like a nice way of uh, being able to just put a bunch of data into it. All right, and now we get into the main thing here is the event section. Now event, this is what's gonna say, all right, message was looks good, it was set by this participant, which was part of this conversation on this time. So those are the most important things we need to know. The whole parent, um, you know, and then other metadata deleted, importance, you know, whatever. And then we got a few sections here that deal with reactions. So if somebody gave a thumbs up, again, you'll have it here. Attachments is important, so if there are any pictures were inserted. Um, if changes were made and again section for custom metadata so this is really cool where you could put GPS coordinates so you could put any custom information you want here and so together with this document we have um, we have a couple of files we have our short message format example we have a JSON file of already working file and we have a zipped version of that so they kind of give us all the pieces that make up this RSMF file. Uh, so if we take a look at our JSON here, okay, this is actually a schema, not the actual file. So we're gonna go to a zip file, and then we're going to open our JSON file. And we see what we saw in the, manu in the manual. So we got our participants, right? So right here we have a list of participants. So we have two people, person one, person two. Then we have a single conversation Two con sorry, we have two conversations. There's a Keith and Carl conversation and a search discussion. Not really sure how you going to, where you're gonna get these conversations from, like when you export from forensic software, but the options are there. And then we have our events. So it says, you there. And then uh, he replies to this. I like the sunrise photo. Then there is an attachment. Uh, and then sunrise, okay, so there you go. It's inside a zip file. So that is being referenced here. Um, and then there's just more of the same. There's a Word document, um, docx. Okay, so we'll, I guess we'll figure out how that's gonna work. Um, now the interesting thing about RSMF file format is this is actually an EML file. So let me make a copy of it and rename it to EML. So I'm gonna double click to open it and we're gonna see what it looks like. Okay, so it looks like an email message. It has no header, it has two information. And if I double click, I get my zip file, which was extracted before. And then inside I have my uh, JSON uh, file with all the conversations. So that's kind of how it looks. Um, 
kind of few things that I'm not entirely sure about is why have this body here and why would you wrap the whole thing into this EML feels like um, that if you just take a JSON file and zip it up with all the attachments that would be all that's needed um, I'm sure there is a reason to have it you know somebody probably have has a good reason about it uh, but at this point it feels like this whole EML wrapper is kind of unnecessary the fact that you can open it like this uh, it's cool but ultimately you wouldn't really be able to do much with the content of it and then all this is kind of mm, not sure what's up with this so this is relativity's short message format um, what I think I'll do is I'm going to build a small app and try to generate this file sort of like a proof of concept see if see if it works and then once I do that uh, I can try to load it to relativity and see if it's going to display it properly but I think I've done enough talking for this video uh, I don't know if you guys are interested in this kind of format but I'm going to film a couple more of these while I show you this and then you let me know in the comments if you like this or not all right, see you in the next video.